Okay, so we're back at the spot we were at yesterday. I'm sorry, a few days ago. But I'm going to follow up on what I was talking about on a different video of this, this parcel, this little piece of land. You might, might remember this view from the other day, and I thought today, Sunday, would be a good time to come back because there was a lot of noise here. You can see this, uh, this uh, excavator, the backhoe. It's, uh, they were using it the other day, and it was really, really loud. And I believe there was some jackhammering going on and that type of thing. But I figured I'll get some, uh, I'll get an opportunity to come back here when it's quiet and give you guys some some good footage. Oh, they must looks like they're done. You'll see these spots on the concrete or you know on the side of the sidewalk. They're putting in pipes underneath the sidewalk and doing some electrical work. For those of you who didn't see the other video. Um, this can be obviously brand new but those who have seen the other video this might look a little bit familiar but totally different area like I said there was about 30 people here <coughs> that were forced to move up this trail we go out into the woods well here's the initial the initial uh, landscape of things just debris everywhere. I didn't get I didn't get to show anybody this mattress the other day. There's another one a couple hundred feet away. But uh I see the large camp I wanted to show you. Look at this guys. This is uh doesn't get much worse than this. Just sleeping out here got no choice you know homeless shelters are full etc etc but let's go look at this larger camp there's small pathways all around like if they travel this ground enough times they get a uh, kind of a path worn as you might know while look they still have their clothes hanging. Unbelievable. See, when the police came, they were forced out. They they gave them less than five minutes. Pack your stuff and go. Whatever you can put in your book bag is what you can bring. Can you imagine living under that circumstance? No warning. They came here in, in, in droves. There was many people. Someone's shirt hanging on a branch. Okay, we have a makeshift clothesline. That shirt there, the blue one in the middle, that looks as though it could be small enough for a child. All right. All kinds of other clothing. A tarp here, which I would imagine they had kind of strapped over the top to make a roof of some type. Okay, you see the shopping cart. That's from Dollar General. There's that red bucket with a lid on it. I'll give you a couple guesses what might be in there. Well, yeah, you're right, probably. It's their toilet. But look at this, guys. You have minutes. Minutes to pack your bag and hit the road. All of this. There's drinks here that have been unopened. And I see nothing but soft drinks. No liquor bottles, no uh, beer cans, Sprite, Fago, some water, bottled water, Gatorades, energy drinks. I suppose they're gonna kick their legs up on this and uh, I guess look at the sun. Got no TV, no radio, no phone, no internet. No access to the world. Wow, this is brutal. This is really brutal. Here's a power supply of some type. <laughs> a wig. A wig of all things. 
Or there's a Halloween hat. It looks like for a witch. That would almost lead me to believe that that was for a child. There's another wig. That could be part of the Halloween costume. I don't know. Anyways, a seat cushion. Uh, looks like for a recliner, perhaps. Probably a pillow. Uh, some more clothes. And just stuff off in the distance. Unbelievable, man. A toy gun. Okay, that orange rifle there, that's a, that's a child's toy. Alright, so now we have... When I thought it was a family's location, just by the size of it, I think I might be right. Wow, this is horrible. Okay, I see where this cardboard's laid out. And that piece of foam, there's another piece of foam right here. I'm starting to believe that, that those two pieces of foam were their pillow or the padding for their bed. And I believe this cardboard was their bed. There's some shoes here. Uh, just miscellaneous stuff that if you are, you know, if, if you were homeless and you voluntarily decided that you were going to leave, then a lot of this you would have been bringing with you. Because you don't, you don't come about these particular items. Let's go behind this chair. Okay. Okay, there's a child's lunchbox. And a pillow. Wow, this is just wrong. Unbelievable. This blanket. Look at this blanket. Wow, amazing. What's in here? Uh, pillowcases or something it looks like can't quite tell all right let's get up the hill a couple more things I wanted to show you I don't know what we have here couldn't tell you it almost looks as though it's some kind of a some kind of a mount for a cell phone or I don't know it doesn't matter all right, let's go up the road here. Well, I should say up the hill. I don't know, guys. This is bothersome. Yeah, this is much deeper down in, you know, this is at the bottom of the hill. You come up the hill, go over it, go all the way down to the bottom, and that's where I just was. <coughs> Somebody made a comment the other day about this particular home. When I was here last time, there was two dogs. I also stepped on a nail, right stuck in my foot, right through my shoe. But this is this was someone's home. Look at this picture frame, broken glass. Okay, that's someone's personal property. Maybe it's a painting or a drawing that their family member did. Okay, look at this. This is the entrance to your home. Unreal, man. Unreal. I don't know. Brutal. Simply brutal. Got to watch where I step this time. All right. Another spot over here. Another blanket. Another picture frame. Somebody's personal belongings. Nope, get out of here. You got five minutes. Whatever you can get in your book bag, hit the road. You're not welcome. There you go. There's another couple pillows up here. Okay, that looks like an air mattress, or what used to be an air mattress, and uh, a couple pillows. Unbelievable. All right, some more padding, another small pillow, but blanket over here, pallets, shopping carts everywhere, and. 
boy, this is, you know, you hear about it, you might see it on TV. If you see it in person, a little different story. Wow. I mean, they have a crawl space in order to get in. Punch it, you know, some more tarps to keep them, you know, protect them from the weather. You know, can't pack that, can't take that to your new place, wherever that might be. All right, let's go. All right, guys. This is probably another quick spot. Blankets, somebody's personal belongings in a garbage bag, another blanket. Yep. Five minutes. Pack what you can and leave. By order of the Whitfield County Sheriff's Department, you are no longer welcome. Go somewhere else. All right. All right, I'm going to shut her down, guys. And uh, think about that. What if this was you? You know, if you watch a bunch of my videos, you know, I say that a lot, but it's not just a statement. It's a, it's a thought. What if it was you?